Hi there and welcome back to another Lollipop Box Club unboxing. This is the Make It Alice's Tea Party. It's actually our fifth celebration. It's our fifth birthday this month. So we're celebrating by redoing the very first kit, which was Alice's Tea Party. So that's how I came up with this theme this month. So as you know, if you've seen the unboxings, everything is always colour coordinated. We do have the zines this month. I did mention in quite a few different places at different times that we didn't have the zines last month. Um, I had to suddenly have the kit ready super, super early and a lot of suppliers were stopping. I was worried that the Royal Mail wouldn't be able to, um, would stop going for non-essentials. So, so I had to get the kit early super quick and the zine was one of the items I just didn't get chance to do. Um, I didn't want to put the extra workload onto my lovely lady that makes them because she works from home with two kids now and it wasn't fair to say I need this in like three days. So we left the zines last month but they are back this month. Also got a little postcard here for all the kit subscribers. You get an extra postcard. As it's the birthday kit, there are a few extras for kit subscribers this month as my way of saying thank you. Everyone will receive one of these Follow Your Dreams notebooks. It's designed by Poppykins, who is our lovely collaboration this month. So I'll link her up below. She makes the most amazing artwork really fun home decor, prints, um, loads of bits and pieces so I really recommend you go and have a look. So you've got a little notepad. I have got some projects to share with you of how I've been using the kit so far and one of them is to use this as a title so don't think of it as just a notepad. We've got a crochet heart this month, you can use this as an embellishment as well. Also got a little envelope, it's got a sticker on it and you get a little tag inside which I have actually stamped for you. We've got some cute die cuts, these are die cut come stickers, they are actually sticky backed but if you want you can use them as die cuts, um, they vary, they've all got really positive um, words and phrases, they're really cute and don't forget use the cute baggies as well, they're really really sweet. We've got this treat bag which is full of loads and loads of surprises and I'm not going to share those with you because I want them to remain a surprise. The only thing I will share with you is the embellishment postcard. You do have quite a lot in there this month though. Um, so this is the embellishment postcard which you can obviously cut up and use as embellishments. We have a little bag of tags. These are super cute. I've been using these on projects. I forgot to say, by the way, when I do an unboxing of the kit, I don't share everything because the kits haven't been sent yet and I want there to be a, um, a little bit um, of a surprise still when you actually receive them. You've got a strip of circle stickers. You've also got Mrs. Brimble stickers. I think this is my favorite item in this month's kit. I love these. I've been using them loads on my projects. Aren't they super sweet? Love those. Another collaboration this month. I'm going to take this out so you can have a better look. This is a really cool stencil. Right, let's... Can you see that? It's, so you've got like a clock watch. And then you've also got diamonds, hearts, clubs and spades. And Morag has designed this for our kit this month, so you can use it together or you can use it separately. You could even just use the clock hands, use it however you wish. And again, I will link Bramble Fox up for you so you can go and take a look, but I think that's a fab addition. You've got a heart lollipop, you've got some papers here, I'll show you the papers. There's also calendar and weekly lists as well. These are the kit papers for you, lovely and sturdy. You've got two of each design and they're A5. There you go. And that is your kit. Like I said, I haven't shown you everything inside there. You'll still get lots and lots of surprises. Now with regards to freebies this month, um, you get the postcard and kit subscribers also receive a free set of Simple Stories alphabet stickers. These are from the basics range, so they vary in colour from black, grey and like a whitish colour. So each person that subscribes to this kit will receive this set of alpha stickers as a freebie gift this month and you also get the code to download three free printables for free as well. 
I also wanted to show you the planner kit this month. It is themed as well to Alice's tea party, so everything matches. So for those of you who get the planner kits, the main box kit will match if you want to use it to embellish. You get the postcards there. You also get this really cute red heart planner clip. You get a set of stickers and you also get this planner pack here. You get the Monday through to the weekend, every day, every week. You also get a notes section and you get this week's plans as well, which I use for like menu planning, cleaning, scheduling, that kind of thing. The planners, by the way, I always get asked, I always forget to mention, they're also sold in my shop, so I will link up everything below so you can take a look if you wish. There's a nice selection of add-ons this month. Things like the, um, the June planner stickers are really handy. You've also got the June planner clip if you wish. And then you can also buy things like the treat bag if you want to do that as an extra few bits and pieces. These pieces, however, aren't included in the kit. Um, I've got some A6 notepads. I've got this really lovely rose washi tape. Let me see if I can open this for you. These are all pieces that you can buy in addition to the kit. You can buy them on their own without a kit. However, there is a £1.50 charge towards postage and packaging in the UK and £5.95 outside of the UK. You've got another planner clip. You've got a teacup stamp. These both are actually from kits last year, by the way. You've also got some blue alphabet stickers. This really cool vine stencil. And you've got these as well. These are stickers and die cuts. Well, they're the, like the other ones in the kit. They are stickers, but you can use them as die cuts as well. Loads of different designs. And you've got 45 pieces in total. They're all blue flowers, really pretty. And I will leave the link to the add-ons below. And if you order any add-ons, they will come with the kits. The kits are due to ship mid-May. Um, the date is usually the 17th. Um, but I am going to try and get them out early again this month. And finally, I just thought I would show you what I've made with the kit so far. I've created this page in my creative journal, which has got a little flip bit, which was really fun to make. You can see there how I used one of the notepad um, pages here as my title. This page here was actually um, in a video yesterday, so I'll link that up below for you, and I've created in my journal here um, about recipes that I'm currently loving. And then I've also got two 12 by 12 pages, this page here, and this is actually using last month's add-on stencil, which I'll also link up for you, as I've just managed to get hold of three more of those, and I've used the vine stencil there, which I am loving at the moment. I've taken the flower page here and used a little circle punch to create these and it just looks so pretty. That's one of the die cut stickers there and I've used the embellishment postcard with another punch. Oh and these are the stickers for um, the subscription stickers that I'm including for free. This was a page, I did this as a live scrapbooking session in our group just last week. Again, I've used the notepad page, I've cut out some hearts from the paper. This again is the vine stencil I've used with a spray mist. I've cut these flowers out this time from the paper to use as embellishments. And again, I've used the embellishment postcard here all cut up as you can see. So that's my project so far made with the kits. I do keep a project album in the group chat which I'll link up below for you so you can always see all the different projects myself and the team are creating. There's always loads so you can also go back over previous months and see how the kits have been used. I hope you always find them helpful. So that's the kit hope you've enjoyed this video please give me a thumbs up if you have please subscribe to my channel if you are new or you haven't subscribed yet it's totally free and really helps my channel out and there'll be lots more videos coming up showing you how i'm using this kit thank you very much for watching please check out the links below if you want to subscribe or if you would like to buy a one-off kit or any of the add-ons thank you so much take care bye